What's up, y'all? It's Zims, and welcome to another reaction video. Today, we're going to react to the heartbreaking interview of a nine year old hitman. This video is by Took Too Much, so if you guys haven't already, just make sure you swoop down to the description box, cut on link, go watch this video in entirety because I'm going to be pausing, stopping, and talking through the whole thing. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Zims, and welcome to the crow's nest a nine-year-old hit man it sounds like something no nine-year-old would want to do he may be forced to do it maybe he's trying to feed his family or something or maybe the cartel is forcing him to do it i don't know we're gonna jump into it again if i say anything uh, that may be interpreted as me being offensive or anything like that make sure you let me know because again that is not my intentions i always try to give my opinion without offending anybody but for now let's get it <laughs> also do not forget ten thousand is right around the corner hit that subscribe button no. Oh. 350 pesos. That's sad. Wait, how does it like what's the backstory? While growing up in Colombia, Felipe never experienced affection, being physically and mentally abused by his own mother every day. So I guess the physical and mental abuse is what's driving him to do this. To the extent the abuse was so bad that Felipe was forced to leave his home and become homeless on the ruthless streets of Colombia. Oh, so he's doing it to feed himself. At only nine years of age, Felipe quickly turned into hard drugs and eventually earned a living by becoming a contracted killer for local gangs. I wonder how does that work though if anybody's familiar with Colombia how does that work is it more of like a because if you're doing it for local gangs everybody knows who you are but doesn't that put you in danger too or is it kind of like a hey he's just we all hire when he hire like if they see him do they like shit themselves like you know I'm that's what I'm like curious to know I feel like one of the gangs would attempt to try to like you know take him out because he's potentially coming after one of them I'm not too sure Heartbreaking individual with a small sentence recounts his current struggle with his life killing people and the lack of love and attention shown by his mom. Mm. Mm. Felipe, <laughs> Que por eso es que yo soy así más que todo, pre-rencor. 
¿Por qué le tienen que quitar la vida a ella? Mm. ¿Por qué no me la quitaron a mí? Si yo era el que veía las cosas. Beyond broken. And it's sad. Because you get to see it in his eyes, man. It's just one of those things that I will never understand. You know, thankfully, I haven't had to take a life because from what I hear is it's not as cool as the movies make it seem. I and mean, it, it does a lot to your mental. And for him to be doing this at nine years old is obviously that he's just wanted to be loved. And that's the thing is just like some <sighs> parents don't deserve kids, but every kid deserves a good parent. You know what I mean? It's sad, man. Like just for him describing it like you know when you go to do it, your hands are shaking like how do you even know at nine there's people that are like that's been in the military and, and on the police force and they've never had to shoot anybody dude is killing people at nine years old drugs and his family his sister's dead and his brother's in jail his mother abusing them like he literally has nothing and then the people out there are trying to kill him too so it's like living like sleeping one eye open and living in constant fear and not knowing when your next meal is going to be not knowing if this last hit could be your last you know what i mean or you know he's feeling like guilt because he's out here living like this and all the people that are good and that he loves is just like dying around him so it's that sucks man uh, i thought it was going to be like a super like tough hard you know hitman like he was like yeah i do this i do this i make this amount of money you know like no te muevas uh el el envia sus mejores deseos Carly, i thought it was like going to be like that kind of but it's not it's just like he's doing what he got to do to stay alive you know what i mean so You can tell he's really smart. At age 25, he lived as a lie today, but he still lives the same criminal lifestyle. Footage of Felipe's arrest for several armed robberies made news headlines in Colombia. Damn, man. That's unfortunate. Some kids, man. I still don't believe some people should have kids. And he was just so, like, able to, like, articulate. Like, he was smart. He was using big words. And he was just neglected, man. And I wonder how many, like, kids would change if their parents or somebody that they trust or love or look up to would just spend a little bit of time with them a day, call them sometimes, or play catch with them, take them to the uh, get ice cream or buy them something a little bit. You know, just let them know that you care. And some kids just don't get it, man. It's, it's very sad. The uh, mental abuse, you know, growing up and, and physical abuse. And I think a lot of people to this day don't understand. They, they're a victim of that and don't even realize it. Uh, some of the things your parents may have said to you or did to you and you don't even realize until you look back like, wait a minute, you know what? I was physically and mentally abused at some point, but again, not condoning it. You got to do what you got to do. But yeah, um, this video is by Took Too Much. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you swoop down the description box. Cut a link, go watch the video in entirety because I was pausing, stopping and talking through the whole thing. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Zims and welcome to the crow's nest again if no one told you today i love you take care you guys enjoy the rest of your week the weekend's almost here and be safe ah.